name is Rahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And about today, everyone. My name is Nurida Ingrid. And my friends, Wanisha Nabi, Dabnan Tula, and Nurizil Osman. Okay, first thing first, the title of final project that we have approached is Effect of Satisfaction on the Physical Chemical Properties of Oil Pump and Tea for Bunches, or EMP. Conducted by Mr. Nur Akhmahi Chai Ibrahim and supervised by I.R. Zaimun, Mat Mustafa. Okay, before we share with all of you the outcomes of the assignment, let me tell you a bit about this experiment. Okay, firstly, what is torrefaction? Okay, basically, torrefaction is a thermal process where biomass, specifically in this project, the biomass is EFP, is warm inside a temperature range of 200 to 300 degrees Celsius. And it's believed that such process can bring the raw EFP to a conventional properties of a conventional coal. Okay. Okay, after a detailed discussion with Mr. Hisham, we detected that the major problem for this uh, during conducting this project is in terms of equipment. By referring to previous study and articles, to perform the correct method for this project, specified equipment is needed. However, there are some equipment that are not present here in India, or the equipment is present but there is no person in charge for that equipment. So my two friends here will tell you the details problems and solution before, during and conducting the experiment. Okay. Uh, before we start the experiment, there are two major equipments that I needed, which is a uh, witness tube with nitrogen flush and the second one is a uh, thermogramic metric analyzer. For the first uh, equipment, which is a witness tube with uh, nitrogen flush, basically, imagine that uh, the nitrogen is important to ensure that all the moisture and oxygen content in the sample are completely removed to avoid the heavy combustion. And so, uh, but the problem is the furnace tube that equipment is not, is still uh, under maintenance in the unique mindset. So, as a solution of that, uh, we need to change the method and use the furnace tube without nitrogen flash. But the said, consequence of the action is uh, the sample might uh, completely burn because there is still uh, oxygen left in the sample. So, the left in the sample. And the second equipment, which is a uh, thermogramic metric analyzer, which is EGA, that equipment is important to proceed for the qualification process. And, um, and the EGA equipment has their own code. So, different code could lead to different best loss. But the problem is the EGA code that's standard in the methods doesn't match with the EGA code standard in the EGA equipment in the polymer lab. So, uh, as a solution of that, we need, again, we need to change the uh, method and then use the GA code uh, that available in the lab. So, as a consequence of that, uh, the mass loss, uh, different mass loss has to be obtained for the sample. Now, I will explain about the problem that occurred during the experiment and after the experiment. During the experiment, since the FP is, uh, is long as well, it can damage the grind machine and it will accumulate at the grinder. So, in order to prevent this problem, a measure of 3 mm length of each FP needs to be applied so it can avoid it from stuck in the machine. The next problem is that uh, the cutting uh, process needs to be done manually, which consumes a longer time. So, the improvement that can be suggested is that. Uh, uh, you need to find an uh, automatic machine or device that can help cut the sample uh, precisely according to the design size. Uh, after the physical process has been done, this experiment needs to undergo uh, several analysis. There are three main analyses that involve in this project, which are the print treatment on the renal cell analysis that consists of hemicellulose, cellulose, and kidney. And then if we go for the ultimate analysis, uh, to find the CH and SO value, uh, OC ratio, GCB value, and also the structural equation modeling. And lastly, if we go for the proximate analysis, to find, uh, analyze the volatile matter and also the moisture content. Since there is no uh, specific equipment that we present uh, here, the sample were sent to the private lab at Mumbai, and the cost for this analysis itself. Uh, is 460 ringgit, which is uh, very expensive. So, uh, this equation can be prevented by confirming first with the technician, 
both are whether the method or this analysis can be performed here or not. So then another increment of the method of analysis can be recommended. Okay, we have come to a major conclusion that such problem can be prevented if the lecturer can purpose the technician about the equipment and the method before proposing any title to the FYP student. And that's all from us and we hope you are having a nice time. Thank you.